All right, Dad, what game are we playing today? Well, today we're not playing a game. Today we're organizing a game. It's Descent Journeys in the Dark 2nd Edition, and this is a game that we love to play. One of our most played games from last year, because it's something that we can do all together, the boys and myself, obviously, Mom and Brooke don't seem to care about it. But let me show you what it's got. We started with Descent. We got this. It's a nice dungeon crawling game. You've got all the different monsters, your masters, your minions. From the major ones down to the minor ones. You've got your cards all about what their abilities are. Coming down you've got your eight heroes. The eight hero cards that tell you all their abilities. The different classes that they can be. Obviously their health, their stamina and fatigue. You've got dice that they're rolling to do all their attacks. You've got their condition cards and tokens. You've got shop cards they can buy. The overlord's got his overlord deck. Other monsters that he can have out there. You've got travel cards, you've got search cards, you've got tokens to go with all that. And of course, you've got all the tiles that you use to build all your scenarios from your quest guide. But, if that wasn't all, because we loved it so much, this year for Christmas, we got an expansion. One of the many expansions for it. But it also came with all of its different monsters, different heroes, more tokens and counters, more class cards, additional tokens. And of course, more map pieces and its guide as well. A ton of stuff. Also more Overlord cards, more travel cards. Just keeps bumping it up. And if that wasn't enough, also for Christmas we got a Lord Merrick Farrell Lieutenant Pack, which also comes with more cards. And if that wasn't enough, last year because we loved it so much, we got the Descent Conversion Kit, which basically took all the Descent First Editions and translated all of those heroes and monsters into the second edition cards and powers and abilities and things that you can see. So you've got your level one and level two, which is quite the stack. We don't have to have all the minis, but we've got all the cards and can use stand-ins for it. So, as you can see, that is a ton of stuff. So the problem is, I like to consolidate into as few things as I can. Before we had the Descent original pack, and the conversion kit, all in one box, but what would we do with that box? Really, we had just a ton and ton of baggies for a lot of stuff. But I wanted to do a little bit more than that. I thought, there's got to be a way to consolidate. And so that's what I found. You ready to see it? Yeah. All right. I'll show you how it's done. First thing, just take the base of the box, and with handy dandy foam core, this is what we put together. Got ourselves some walls, got ourselves a little pack, and then another container that goes on top of it. I'll have a video that shows how we put all this together, but essentially, this is what I built first based off of the depth of what I had. So I'll take all my hero cards, essentially, I'll gather those all together from all the different expansions and base game. And you can put the heroes in there. Also what fits is that. So we've got the exact height. Voila! Perfect. And I'll show you more that goes in there as well. But let's first move on to... That shows how it's going to work. Let's move on to instead where the big things go first. Got to start with the base. And that's the tiles. So we're making good room for the tiles. Find the like size tiles. We start with our big ones and build from there. But everything's going to fit nice and easy in here. These are under my little shelf. Got all the big tiles. Likewise, can fit in nicely. We like to store our games up on their side, and so this shouldn't be a problem because these will fit in rather nicely. Got other sides, other down the side there. So I forgot this one first. Nice simple way to do it. You can stack a number of these down below. Essentially that is how all of this is going to go together. Then what we will have on top of that 
you got more room to go. Plenty of little pieces as well. It will fit in rather nicely. Voila, we've got our tiles. Next comes one of the little hero boxes. With this we get all our dice. little plastic tokens. And we're going to have some of our monsters. Voila, how nice is this? These are going to fit in rather nicely and even some of these, as you see, are going to be easy enough to stand straight up. When it comes to the monsters, we're not as concerned with them all falling over. So that's how it's basically going to go. The height of this was based off of these babies, these bad boys. The height of their wing was as high as I wanted to go on there, so I could put everything on top. The great thing is that also means these guys can stand up. And you can fit in some other monsters. Myriads before you have to go to laying some down on their sides, which is not a problem. Then, with that, as far as the other monsters go, we will toss in a bunch of them because when we find that we're going through monsters, we're grabbing at least five classes at once, so we don't have a problem with putting them all together. I know some people like them to be standing up, they've painted them, so they may not like them to fall together. But for us, this is going to work out fine. Some of the smaller ones all in here. We got plenty to go. Great thing is about the little ones, they're going to be able to fill in the spots. Get our spiders in with our other spiders. And the same thing, the heroes, all of our different heroes, they're going to fill in the spots. We got some, got some of that. So that's it, nice and flush. So then the next thing we have. Is our top piece which will come out easy and we can even play it from there. So it's really grabbing all the monsters together. So we got all of our level two monsters, all of our level one monsters, how nice is that? We've got our overlord decks, handy dandy, so our overlord decks will go in there, all of our monsters will fit nicely in there. All of our additional hero powers. And then we'll also get the like-sized cards with our travel cards. Separate those together. Get some nice cover to the top of it there. We'll get a nice pack for that. And these are great. We put the edges there so you can pull out what you need to pull out, you get your finger in there, and it's easy to pull out the cards. The next thing we'll pull together is the, at least the light colored. We'll put a stack of class decks together. So I put my blue and green together on there. And I'll put my reds and my yellows in one stack. There again, nice and easy for fingers to get in and out. We've got shop cards, nice spot for shop cards, and then we have a spot for the condition cards, as well as other light cards that we're okay putting together, because again, we will sort these out and pull out for the game anyway, but they'll all be being pulled out, so they just need a spot. We also like to store our pieces, oops, I forgot a piece. Okay, this comes out nice and easy. Then we can set this on the table to play right from it. Let's get Lord Merrick Farrow back in there. So they're packed in so nice in there that even as we stand it on end, there's not going to be a lot of shifting around because the tiles fill it up really nicely. And now we start working on our next deck. 
So I'll take, basically take tokens of similar size. For this one, I do the villagers and some of the monster individuals. What a nice spot there. I think we're going to have some more of those. It came with the expansion. Likewise, I'll put some of the objective tokens and the search tokens. And then the next one, which will be easy then to pull out. If you just need two objective tokens, you can easily just grab those tokens. Typically only need four search tokens. We've got plenty of them. Other special tokens. Voila! It's packing up real easy. And then for that, we take all of our hearts. And again, because we can pull this out on the table when we play, we aren't going to need to put the hearts all over the table like they are now. We'll be able to just leave them in the container sitting next to our game on the side. Pull the hearts from there. Same thing with our fatigue. Conditions, at least like mannered, so the conditions all go together. And one, put all the hero tokens, or stand ins in one, and these others can come with the expansions, as well as came with Lord Merrick Pharaoh with his lieutenant pack. Putting in the last one again, which will be easy to grab. Voila! Nice little pack. That baby can go right on top. And then there's only one downside. Labyrinth of Ruin came with two pieces that didn't fit exactly in there. But we see that the box sits up on there anyway. We can nicely set those in there. Listen, nothing really shifted. That can go on our game shelf just like that. As far as our, I know a lot of people like to put these in. There really wasn't a lot of depth, but if you don't mind the box, see how close it closes, even with those two tiles on top. Very nice. Nice and heavy. But there we go. We've got Labyrinth of Ruin as well as a lieutenant pack, as well as all of the conversion kit cards. In one box to sit on our shelf, voila, we're all organized. Ready to play? Let's go. All right.